Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Tuesday, July the 19th. I'm just down at Harbor Front here. For the past couple of days, I've been trying to receive the hydrogen line at 1420 uh, megahertz at my home location. Uh, there's a lot of noise there, electromagnetic interference, intermod, I'm not too sure which. So I did two tests, uh, which you'll see some clips in a minute. The first test I did was using a broadband power meter, uh, this guy here. And uh, I can do a test here. And you can see that there's, uh, generally speaking, very low power here. Only maybe one or two LEDs flashing. Uh, whereas at my home location, there was up to six LEDs flashing, which meant minus 34 dBm. And that receives from 900 to 2400 megs. I also went to the park behind my uh, location and I did a search and I found a very, very strong signal at 1440 megahertz. And down here at Harbor Front, I see the same signal from 1440 megahertz. So I'll be curious to figure out what that is. It looks like a comb signal uh, with lots of spiky carriers in there. Whether it's an OFDM signal, I'm not too sure. Uh, anyways, that could have been what's causing the intermod at my home location. So, anyways. Okay, so I'm down at Harbor Front. Uh, it's Tuesday, July the 19th, and I'm just looking at the same signal uh, I saw at my home location at 1440 uh, megahertz. It's a very strong signal, uh, and there are many little carriers there. It's kind of like a comb-like signal. Now, the hydrogen line was at 1420, but I saw this type of interference sitting on top of the uh, received signal. Good evening, it's Jeremy. It's Monday, July the 18th, and I'm just looking at what's called an electro smog meter. This guy uses the AD8313 logarithmic amplifier, and it measures the uh, broadband power from 900 megahertz up to 2400 megahertz. So we've been looking at possible interference when I did my hydrogen line test. So uh, all I have to do here is turn this thing on and we can look at how much interference we're getting. And we're getting up to LED number six. So that means the broadband power is actually as high as minus 34 dBm. So that's a lot of broadband power there in that area. Good evening, it's Jeremy. It's Sunday, July the 17th, and I'm just in North Toronto Park, which is kind of behind where I live. It's a sort of a depression. I was hoping it would be electromagnetically uh, more quiet than my uh, location. But I'm just looking through the bands here, and I found this noise source at 1440 megahertz. And it's really, uh, it's really something. Look at this. It's just full of little carriers here. Looks like some sort of an OFDM signal.